Good evening, Robert Scribbler. It is September 7th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now the subject that I want to talk to you about is the relationship between sea surface temperature and potential hurricane intensity, as well as what a little, and I'm gonna say little in quotes, global warming can do to hurricane intensity. And in this illustration, what I want you to do is think about the difference between 25 degrees Celsius water, or about 77 degrees Fahrenheit water, and 27 degrees Celsius water, or about 80 degree Fahrenheit water. But before I get go into that, I would like to show you the difference between approximate 25 degrees Celsius water in a, a relatively large region of the Western Atlantic, a band here, and 27 degrees Celsius water and above, much of it which is very close to the coast of the United States. Now, I just want you to think about that, think about those two things. Now, I am going to talk to you a little bit about hurricane intensity and related hurricane damage. Specifically, the difference in damage produced by a Category 2 hurricane and a Category 4 hurricane. Now, it's worth noting that a Category 2 hurricane can produce some somewhat moderate damage. Damage to roofs, uh, mobile homes in particular, are at risk from Category 2 hurricane winds of 96 to 110 miles per hour and related storm surge flooding in the range of six to eight feet. It's worth noting that category two storms include damage to roofing materials, doors, windows, considerable damage to vegetation and mobile homes, flooding of piers, which damage them and small craft in unprotected moorings, which may also break their moorings. But the difference between a Category 2 storm is one that, and a Category 4 storm is one that is you know, relatively rough, creates a lot of superficial damage, maybe a little bit of major structural damage, but as a whole, not too terrible in general. Now, there's some Category 2 storms that can produce more extensive damage due to other impacts such as flooding, things like that from rainfall, but, but just as a general rule of thumb. But when we get to category four, the damage potential is extreme. S storm surge is estimated to be between 12, I'm sorry, 13 and 18 feet. Sustained winds are 131 to 155 miles per hour. Damage can occur to, to reinforced structures such as curtain walls which can fail completely in a category four hurricane event, complete roof losses on small residences. So you're talking and, and and extensive flooding well inland. So so you're talking about the difference between a a, a relatively moderate hurricane overall usually, and, and one that is, that, that produces extreme damage near the top of, of the hurricane intensity scale. So the difference in, in two degrees Celsius sea surface temperature, which I talked about earlier, is the difference between the potential for sustaining a category two hurricane at around 25 degrees Celsius sea surface temperature, or around 77 degrees Fahrenheit, and a category four hurricane at around 27 degrees Celsius and above, 
or around 80 degrees Fahrenheit and above. And in this potential maximum intensity map, we see category four storms in the dark purple in the present ocean environment and the potential for category five storms, which are catastrophic in the blue. So two degrees Celsius sea surface temperature warming. That's what it gets you. A lot more intense hurricanes. Now I want to talk about sea surface temperatures off the U.S. East Coast. And we don't just have two degrees Celsius worth of sea sur surface temperature warming. We've got, I'm going I'm to look at the anomaly map. We, we start out at about 1.5 and then we get into about two degrees Celsius sea surface temperature warming as we get into the 35 degree north latitude band. And as we get close to the U.S. East Coast, we get five degrees Celsius sea surface temperature warming directly off the U.S. East Coast in the mid-Atlantic. And some regions are as much as six degrees Celsius or around 10 degrees Fahrenheit, warmer than they would typically be for this time of year. And what this means is that your garden variety category one and two hurricanes that might typically be sustained in these waters off the eastern seaboard are instead now potentially category three and category four monster storms. That's what human caused climate change gets you. It gets you warmer sea surface temperatures and it gets you into a situation where the milder storms of the past can blow up into the much more dangerous storms of the present and if ocean temperatures continue to warm of the future. I'm gonna be talking more about the 2018 Atlantic hurricane season in a follow-on blog, but I just want you to think about that. This is our present reality. One degree Celsius global warming, reducing sea surface temperature anomalies in the range of two to six degrees Celsius off the U.S. East Coast. And that's kind of a big deal. Thank you for joining me. I'll be chatting with you soon.